All right, so let's try the new remote signing capabilities in Nault. So on the left side here, we have a, an empty wallet. It's unconfigured. And on the right side, we have a set up wallet, but we have a, put it in an offline mode because to simulate it's being a, on a remote device. And the offline mode can be set here in the server configuration. So if we go to the new remote signing here, we can say that uh, step one be to create a block. So we will do that. And we need an account. So let's take the account from the offline machine here. We paste that in here. So now we go to the account detail view. And this view, we can also get that uh, entering the account here. So that's reachable from anywhere. And it has this uh, enable remote signing uh, checked here to add some uh, functionality. So we'll create a new block. That can be a send block or change representative. So that will be the first step. And uh, I will send it to, to myself. And we can uh, use the max amount here or any amount we want. Generate send block. So now it creates the block, and this block is unsigned. So for this to work, we need to sign this block on the offline machine, because that's where the private keys are stored securely. And we can press the scan QR code here, or if we are in this view, we are at step two now, sign block from offline device. And you can just press this button, it will also take us to the, to the QR code scanner. Uh, if we don't have a camera, we could also copy the unsigned block from here using a USB device, for example, and paste the whole block in here. That will be the same thing as scan it. So let's scan this QR. I need to, yeah, there it's gone. Like that. And now it reads in uh, all the information from this block, like the balance from the previous block and the current block to calculate the amount to be sent. So we can make a verification here. And we can uh, select the signing method. We will use the internal wallet that we have set up. We could enter the seed directly here, or even um, the 24 word passphrase from, uh, from the ledger. So if the ledger is not working, we could actually recover the ledger and uh, transfer funds from it. Or we could use the ledger directly um, in the wallet, in the offline wallet, or a private key or expanded private keys. But let's just use the internal wallet. And for the proof of work that we can include here, uh, calculate it on the offline machine if we want, or we could uh, not do that and it will automatically add that uh, uh, later in the online machine. So it works both ways. Let's confirm and sign this block. Now we will scan this block back into the online machine. So we are at step three now. Let's scan that. So now we are ready to process this block. It has been signed and ready to go. So we just hit confirm and the block has been processed. We can view this in a block explorer like Nanocrawler or just go to the account detail view here. It will uh, call the node and get the new transaction here. So now we can see we have a pending block or incoming transaction. And we can uh, uh, also sign this uh, incoming transaction. It'll say remote sign, but I have a small screen here. So let's try that as well. We'll just scan this again on the remote machine. Like that. Confirm and sign. Go back to the Cura scanner. Process now block you're about to receive. Yes, confirm a process. Boom. So that's really how easy it is. And um, we could also 
create the change block. Just let's do that too. So let's choose repno.org here from uh, the list. Generate change block, scan QR code. That you're about to sign block, change representative. Yes, do that. Back and scan. Done. Account detail view. Now we have a new representative here. So that's pretty much uh, what I want to show here. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching.